Here's how to get your sculpt from ZBrush to Maya. First, I have, I have a bunch of subtools in my subtool menu right here. And I'm going to make sure that the only subtool visible that I want to export to Maya is turned on and the other ones are turned off by checking this little, uh, turning off this little eyeball icon. Okay, and then selecting the one I want. Again, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're not in the millions of points or else you, Maya won't be able to handle that. This is 124,000 points, which Maya should be able to handle just fine on this computer. So once this is all set, I'm going to say export and I will export this into um, data folder and I'll name it, um, let's see, knocker. ZBrush, let's save, and then in Maya, I'll go to File, Import, there it is, Knocker is my data, so I'll hit Import, alright, here it is. So now that this is in here, I can go ahead and start modeling other pieces that would go around it um, such as the uh, let me just go ahead and turn the rest of this on such as the uh, actual knocker piece right that's how I did this so let's say I model this out and now that so this would be a bunch of individual pieces, right? I would select all these pieces that make up the knocker and hit mesh, combine, select it, then go file, export selection, and I'll name it something like uh, knocker hardware, save it as an OBJ, hit export selection. To get it into ZBrush, I can open up the subtool menu where my sculpt is and I can hit append and I can choose any of these up here I'll just say I'm just gonna choose this polymesh 3d sphere there it is I can select this polymesh 3d sphere that I just turned in uh, just appended there it is so with it selected I'm going to come up here and say import and then I'll say knocker oh I spelled that wrong but knocker hardware hit open um, I'm going to select quads and triangles, and there it is. All right, so now the mesh that I got from Maya is inside of ZBrush, and I can begin to work on it.